Dragon's Crown has retrieved the bones of forgotten warriors from arcade beat-em-ups of the 90s, bestowing upon them flesh once more, perhaps adding a little more flesh than other necromancers might have added. It redefines the forms and then breathes life into them, painting for them a colorful and meticulously decorated world of monsters, knaves, towers, fortresses, and lairs. These new heroes are set upon a repeating cycle of treasure hunting, battle, and personal development. Dragon's Crown drives so hard at its goals that it's difficult not to pay attention. Get ready! The game's unique style is hard to nail down. It's as if a children's storybook had been tossed into a bubbling cauldron, along with the Dungeon Master's Guide, an encyclopedia of Renaissance paintings, and the collected works of Walt Disney, along with a subscription to Bodybuilders Monthly and a couple of dirty magazines. It might strike you as boldly expressive or discomfortingly strange. You may love it, hate it, or simply tolerate it, but it's clear this thoroughly stylized world has been wrought with unmistakable artistic skill. He says that wayward wizards have waylaid the labyrinth again. There must be a reason mages keep attacking. As far as the game's actual substance, classic beat-em-ups are an obvious influence, and Dragon's Crown is made of very similar stuff. After selecting a location by rotating an ornate diorama, you'll roll in with your selected character ready to hack and slash, continually moving to the right until you square off in a climactic battle. Exploration is limited because the path forward is always clear, but each stage will have one alternate route leading to new scenery and a new final fight. Despite the straightforward simplicity, there are usually optional rooms or hidden areas along the way, and your adventures aren't always entirely predictable. You may need to float or fly to reach your destination, although the novelty of a raft or flying carpet comes with some awkwardness. Dramatic final fights in each location often combine the game's strongest visuals and most interesting ideas, seeing you hammer on the fingers of a cyclops to keep monsters from flooding through a massive door, or scrambling for control of a magic lamp that summons a powerful genie who can turn from a menacing foe to a powerful ally. The six different adventurers are all capable, moving and fighting with vigor and personality. While the games that inspire Dragon's Crown often hide their depth behind nimble controller motions, here anyone will be able to slide tackle, bounce an enemy off a wall, and fling foes into the air without consulting a manual or FAQ. Every character also has a useful dodge to get them out of harm's way, and beyond the basics, there's certainly a bit of room for finesse. Ready. The Amazon can parry blows and return vicious counterattacks, while the Elf is capable of impressive feats of acrobatic archery. Every class has its forte, and spending skill points allows you appreciable control over how your character develops. Fighting has a great physical feel as enemies reel from attacks or sent flying across the screen, but you can easily lose your character at times when the view zooms out, reinforcements roll in, and battles become particularly hectic. One more drink! Your ability as a player certainly matters, but you can't ignore the numbers game. There are levels to gain and more powerful loot to obtain before you can claim your final victory. Dragon's Crown allows you to revisit past levels in order to fulfill quests obtained from the guild, and wouldn't you know it, these quests tend to become available right after you return from that exact location. Turns out you just missed it. Again. It can feel like the game is holding out on you, but unleashing newly learned skills and finding powerful new weapons gives you enough motivation, particularly if you're doing dungeon runs with friends. And even though basic enemies will toughen up alongside you, you'll definitely feel your character grow as your strength multiplies and your options expand. <laughs> It's worth noting that you're only able to cooperate with local players until you've made a certain amount of progress. When you're given the go-ahead to venture online, your new objective will be to revisit each stage to clear the alternate route and obtain a talisman from each new, more powerful boss by defeating them before the battle drags out too long. There are new sights to see and new fiends to slay, but having real people to party with will play a large part in your enjoyment. <laughs> Computer-controlled allies will join you if you leave an open spot in your group, but while they do attract attention and deal some damage, they aren't so great at staying alive. It's possible to buy extra lives when you run out using your party's gold reserves, but doubling down on these jokers feels like throwing good money after bad. You'll get much more out of the game playing with real people. Taking on some of the tougher bosses solo is prohibitively difficult without extensive leveling, and a strong party can clear consecutive stages to rack up reward multipliers to speed up the grind maybe resting at a campfire to cook up some delicious looking food in between. Can I have more? The PS3 and Vita versions of the game are identical, and while a bigger screen undoubtedly makes the game more enjoyable to play, features clearly designed for a touchscreen become an annoyance on the console version. Poking for hidden treasures with a cursor and invoking magic spells by touching runes aren't really huge parts of the game, but you'll have to get used to moving a cursor around with your analog stick to unlock doors and treasure chests. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> the ways in which the game extends its life aren't exactly elegant, but they transform what would be a relatively short experience into something repeatable and fun. 
When you finally complete the game, you'll be able to start a new game with your powered up character on a new difficulty level or try a new adventurer. As long as you possess the will to quest, Dragon's Crown will provide you with ample adventure. Let's see. Done. <laughs>